right, hello and welcome to another Expert Inside interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop, online sales magazine and Pipeliner CRM, joining you as usual from San Diego. And today I am delighted to be joined by John Mitchell, who is in Austin, Texas. How are you doing, John? I am doing great. And John is from Think It, Be It. And I think, uh, John, uh, the essence of your story is you turned 50, and you decided you weren't where you wanted to be for your life goals. And and so you set about uh, achieving those and building a, and, and creating your own system for achieving that. And you now share that with other people, how to break through and you know have an exceptional life and make the money you want. And as I said, today we're gonna to talk about applying the science of success to leverage yourself. Um, there's probably still a lot of people out there that look at people who are successful and sure, they go, OK, you know, maybe they worked hard. This, But they also feel like, oh, well, there was an element of there was a huge element of luck. And I'm just unlucky to be stuck where I am. Right. I think a lot of people so you, think that. Yeah. So what do, you, what do you say to people like that? Well, I say you make your own luck. And and I'll, I'll tell you my story, if that's OK. Yeah, please um, do. So like you alluded to when I. to uh, uh, find the woman of my dreams and, and to have enough money so I didn't have to work. And at 50, I was falling short on both of them. And, you know, on the money, I always did okay. I always made a couple hundred grand. Uh, but when I turned 50, I really did the math and realized that if I was going to have the exceptional life I wanted, as materialistic as this sounds, I had to net over a million dollars a year. Mm -hmm. And so... I'm like, well, how do I change that that 20 year history? And so one night, because I've been making, you know, 200 grand for 20 years, but one night it just sort of comes to me, find the top book in the world on success, apply that book literally word for word to my life. So I do a little research and I discover that there's one book that's been read by a hundred million people. And the next best selling book on success has been read by less than 10 million people. Hmm. And that book is Think and Grow Rich. Um, and I bet you've read it or certainly heard of it, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. one, once I realized it's the top book by a factor of 10, well, I was like a heat seeking missile the next day to the bookstore. And so I buy the book, read the book and discover the problem with the book, which is he says there's a secret for success, but he only gives you half of the secret. It's on the reader to figure out the other half. Well, you know, I mope around for a couple of weeks and then just one day I get up and go, John, just man up and figure out the full secret. And, and so I immerse myself in the book for a couple of months and what emerges was I figure out the full secret and a 12 minute a day technique to apply it. And so I apply it to a new business I was starting in the reverse mortgage business. And quickly my income starts doubling to where four years later, I was blessed to be uh, netting $5 million a year, right. which was you know 25 times what I'd never made before. Mm -hmm. And uh, John, you know, it, what was so cool is I could see why it was was working. Uh, for the first time ever, I was proactively influencing my auto, autopilot. And I could mm -hmm. just do things that I never could before. And, and, and it was happening automatically without thinking. And it really mm -hmm. felt like a superpower. And, and this works because it focuses you only on what moves the needle. It triples your discipline. And it causes new ideas to come into your head consistently every week. And yeah. um, I guess most importantly, though, it gave me this this sense of control over my life, this a sense of control like I'd never experienced. Yeah, there's a couple of things I just wanted to pick up on there, John. Is uh, number one, when I did meet the woman of my dreams, but my disposable income went down dramatically after that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. Hopefully, my right. wife doesn't watch, right. doesn't watch this one. Um, no, but uh, joking apart, but I, I really like what you just said there is you mentioned a couple of things like discipline and I and I do feel like today 
discipline is almost counterculture, right? We live in such a right. casual, laissez-faire, like, do whatever you want, everything is easy, shortcuts, who you do. If you're, you know, you shouldn't have to work that hard, everything. But, and and discipline, it's, it's never mentioned. That's almost like a dirty word. Right. Well, you know, I tell you, I'm glad you brought that up because uh, Think and Grow Rich is based on, on, on one simple idea that 95% of your daily actions are unconscious. And think about that. If that's true, the only way that you can have a higher level of success is to influence those unconscious daily actions, which you do through proactively influencing the subconscious mind. And how that relates to discipline is, is your, your success really does come down to discipline. But if you can reprogram your autopilot so that discipline happens automatically without thinking, boy, it is a game changer. It truly yeah. is. Uh, so, so let's face it, like today, a lot of people, the inputs they put into their brain, right? You know, you start off in the morning with social media and the comparison culture and all of that right. thing that that brings, or you tune into the news that reflects wherever you are in the political spectrum. And that just annoys you because it's there to provoke, not to inform. Mm -hmm. and, and so all of the inputs starting off in your day, even like all of these crazy inputs that you put into them, um, you're really fueling your subconscious mind with a lot of negativity and, and things that perhaps are not serving you. Right. Well, you know, we all have a fundamental problem we have to overcome in that we're innately wired for survival. And I mean, what that means when you factor in that with 95% of your daily actions are unconscious, what that means is that you're on aut autopilot most of the day, innately wired to be fear-based, reactive, and negative, which is exactly the opposite of the way you need to be if you want to be productive, creative. Does that make yeah, sense? And, yeah, no, it totally makes sense. And if you think people always say, well, we're, we're, we're humans, we're wired to like run from the saber-toothed tiger. Um, but I often question nowadays, if there were saber-toothed tigers around today, they'd be having a field day because we're walking around with our faces stuck in, <laughs> in phones and everything. They'd just be, be shooting fish in a barrel for them, wouldn't it? Right. Well, and, and you know, I'll tell you something that I've found from, from teaching this to, to entrepreneurs primarily is this is only for driven people. If, if you're not driven, this 12 minute day technique is not for you. And I, I say that because I get maybe the best way to explain it is a few years ago, I took this to the guy that I perceived to be the top expert in the world on success, Darren Hardy. And I showed it to him and, and he looks at it and he goes, wow, this is, this is pretty good. Uh, but he says, you know, uh, people aren't going to spend 12 minutes a day on this. And I'm like, Darren, how can that be? Uh, it caused my income to go up by 25 times. Time Magazine did a cover story on the science behind this. And we're applying the central concept to the top book of the world on success. And he sort of laughed and he says, you know, John, you're new to the success business. He says, the dirty little secret is that most people won't do anything to impact <laughs> their success. And you have to show this only to driven people where more success is an absolute necessity because for most people, it's merely a preference. And boy, that was enlightening. Yeah, there's a couple of things that I just want to pick up on there as well as, um, first of all, yeah, it seems crazy. Like when you say 12 minutes a day that people won't do it um, but it's not crazy at all um, it, it's we've come to we've become that as a culture like you know where we're I think we're in the de-evolution uh, period now because I read somewhere that our attention spans are now less than that of a goldfish I don't quite know how they measured that but right um, I think if that's the case you know we are into de-evolution if you like and now we're communicating with hieroglyphics again so um, you can see where we're headed is just everything is easy and simple and like you said uh, these things don't happen over, these things don't happen unless you put the work in. So putting the work in to get it out. So can we, let me have a definition from your point of view. If I'm sitting here and I'm saying, okay, I like what John's saying here, but am I a driven person? Am I really a driven person? How do you know if you're a driven person? You know, great question. You know, I'm telling you, if you have to question, am I driven? Trust me, you're not driven. I think it's really simple. 
I mean, what do you think? No, I, I, I would agree with you, but, um, but I also think that there are people who think that they're very driven and they're, they're, they're not. It makes them feel good to think that way, but the actual yeah. the output, the results are not, are not there and, you know, they're not prepared to put in the work to make it happen. Well, you know, think about this. I've thought about it a lot that, that if you're driven, you have to be channeled and focused because if you're not channeled and focused, it can be a, a detriment. And, and, you know, I'll tell you something that I think you'll find interesting. Oftentimes, I'm like, uh, people ask me, well, what's, what's different with this from everything else? And here's what's different. Everything else in the success business is strategies, and oftentimes really good strategies. But you have great strategies coming out your ears. What you need is to have great strategies show up in your thoughts and actions automatically without thinking. And that's exactly what this does. It makes key habits show up automatically without thinking. And, and you know, I sort of alluded to the fact that it, I consider it a superpower and, and our clients do too. And, and I'll give you a quick example of yeah. that, that. So, and this just happened a, a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago. So I'm going to San Antonio to see a client of mine and, and I get my wife to go with me and we're out and about and so I have her meet me at Starbucks and uh, uh, before we go I get a, a brownie and so I eat the brownie and one of the things I feed to myself every day again the central concept of the book is create immense clarity you know exactly the person you want to be exactly what you want to accomplish and precisely how you're going to achieve your clearly defined goals so you establish that clarity then feed it to yourself every day. And after 21 days, the magic happens, the science kicks in and it starts influencing your daily thoughts and actions and those enhanced, improved daily actions create the life you want. So back to the story, um, I, I eat this brownie. And one of the things I feed to myself in that 12 minutes a day is that I'm aware of everything I put in my mouth. Well, I'm aware of it. I'm aware of it, that it's not very good, but I keep on eating it. And we start going to San Antonio and uh, I don't feel very good and I'm not very hungry for dinner. And so I come back and I'm like, I'm going to change my temp. Right. Uh, I'm evaluating everything I put in my mouth. So I move from aware to evaluating. Well, the next night, Ginger and I go out to dinner with her son at a Mexican food restaurant. Food comes, I order tacos. They're not very good. Well, in that moment, I evaluate they're not very good and I slide them away and I don't eat them. And, and that's an example of how it just happens automatically without thinking. And that's why I say it's like having a... Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's fascinating. The example you give is fascinating because it's almost like uh, being, being totally intentional about everything. And if you're intentional about things, then eventually you'll obviously train your subconscious to be intentional too. Right, right. And, you know, a lot of times people say to me, well, this won't work on me. I'm like, <laughs> this works on everybody. I mean, it's pure science. It cannot work. But that doesn't mean it's right for everybody because, and I mean that because to make this work, you got to create the clarity and that's hard. They're just, you know, we help our clients with that, but it's hard. The 12 minutes a day is easy, but that clarity is hard. And so that's why I say, you know, when we're, you know, typically we're working. If we don't think we can do that, we won't take them as a client. But we want to make sure the client is going to do the hard work of creating the clarity. Yeah, no, I, I agree. And, and as you said, I mean, being in the success business, I've been in the performance improvement business uh, myself many years. And you, you can, at the end of the day, it's all about personal accountability and execution on behalf of those people. So they, they need to be ready ready to to do it and uh, and as you said it's not for it's not for everybody because everybody isn't prepared to put the hard work in and i think that's okay it's okay yeah. as long as long as you are honest with yourself yeah yeah you know and i'll tell you 
one thing I would challenge your audience to do is when you put your head on the pillow tonight, think about that, what I said at the start, that 95% of your daily actions are unconscious. I know you heard that, but think how that applies to you. Because I see in this world of clutter, we hear a lot of things and we sort of get it, but we get it at a, a superficial level. And, but when you think deeply that 95% of your daily actions are unconscious, then you get to see, wow, maybe there's another way to do life because this is really a new way to play the game of life. Yeah, and, 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 and I love it because I think the more that we can get people to be intentional, the more pe we can get people to, to, to focus or the right people if they want to do it. I just think it, it's, it's a tremendous, it'll have a tremendous impact on the world around them. And for me, that's the important thing is like, forget about big global issues. It's like, if you can be the best, best version of yourself, then you're going to impact those who you have relationships with, and those who surround you. And if everybody did that, the world would be a, f a far better place. Um, but I always come back again, um, John, is that it's just is to be honest with yourself. A lot of people will say, OK, listen to this and say, OK, I want to break through to seven figures. But you have to ask yourself, do you really do you really? Absolutely. Well, and, you know, it's funny when I turned 50, if you'd asked me to rate myself on a scale of one to 10 as an entrepreneur, I would have rated myself an eight. And, you know, when when I crossed over to netting seven figures a year, then I'm like, whoa, I wasn't an eight. I was a three or four. And uh, and I confused working hard with being competent as an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. And I had to, I realized you got to work smart to net seven. And I wasn't doing the basic habits uh, and didn't have the focus on what moves the needle that you got to have if you're going to net seven. And and that was such, it was so eye-opening. I couldn't see it though, until I crossed over to netting seven, but I sure saw it when I reflected on my life in my thirties and forties. Yeah, and I love what you just said there about, you know, the basics. And I think that's a, that is where a lot of us fall down sometimes is that especially if you've been doing things for a while or you've got your experience and all of that, is you tend to start to take shortcuts and ignore the fundamentals and the basics and even ignore the things that got you some of the things that got you to where you are today. I always tell people I'm 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 big into into martial arts and um, you know sometimes my master he'll just spend the whole class doing the basics, the things you've done over and over again, things you learned when you first started, and and it's because if you don't continue to practice the fundamentals, they're the building blocks for everything else, right? And anytime you, know, you do something as simple as something you've done ten thousand times before, he'll find some way to to help you tweak it. You know, that is so true. Uh, you know, like I, I see with so many of our clients, they're just like I was when I was netting 200, 300 grand a year. They're working so hard, just like I was. But, you know, they're not doing the fundamentals of being a great entrepreneur, which is oftentimes they're not as organized as they should be. You know, you, they'll tell me I'm a six on a scale of one to 10. I'm like, whoa. You got to be a 10. Let me show you a simple system that make you a 10. But and, and you also you got to be um, growing and consistently bringing in the wisdom of experts in your head. I, we have a system that does that. You got to be innovating your marketing. You got to be properly measuring it and you got to be uh, innovating it. And and uh, there's four or five other key habits and, and one of the habits that that I think you'll appreciate and this is maybe this is a gift to your your audience that, that I think will take this idea of proactively influencing the subconscious mind and, and maybe the entry point for it is this idea to set aside time to just think two times a week to think deeply uh, and and let me explain how this works um, and this is this is a habit the top people in the world do, people like Elon Musk and Bill Gates. But here's how you do it. So you figure out when you're going to do it. I do it Wednesdays and Sunday mornings. Wednesday because it's the midpoint of the week. Sunday because you're just more reflective. Uh, where to do it? Comfortable, your most comfortable place in your house or in nature. Then... Uh, then each session will be about 30 minutes and it's three steps, three simple steps. 
the first step is you're is you're looking at that blank sheet of paper. You you know you you have your thinking tablet, which is a nice leather binder with uh, blank sheets of paper. You just write for the first ten minutes whatever comes into your head. Just stream whatever comes. Then the second part, figure out a question to ask yourself, and then write it down. When you ask yourself a question it makes the brain go deeper and, and changes sort of the dynamics of what's going on. And, and then cogitate on that question and write whatever comes up. And then at the end of 30 minutes, draw a line under what you've written and uh, write then the two or three takeaways and then the two or three action steps and then take those action steps and put them on next week's to do. So you're connecting your thinking with your actions. But this is such a, a game changer technique. Um, and yeah. and I've got a, the gift I have for your audience is I've got a video that explains this in more detail and uh, a guide on what questions to ask yourself. And you can get it at uh, uh, thinkitbeit.com. And, um, um, and so it's, uh, I think you'll find it really really interesting yeah and we'll have we'll have the links and all that good stuff below this video and i love what you're saying there uh, john what a great place to finish uh because probably what you've suggested is probably one of the scariest things for a lot of people and that is my goodness spending 30 minutes twice a week with your own thoughts <laughs> putting aside everything else and just being with yourself i mean to be honest that just seems that just seems to scare the heck out of a lot of people they, we do we do everything we can to distract ourselves so we never have to spend any time with our own thoughts right right well and and you know can i can i leave you with one story yeah, i think do. you'd appreciate because i just getting to know you i know you'll appreciate this so um my uh, stepdaughter had a baby just uh, about a month ago and so Ginger and I go over and see the little boy the day after he was born. And we go over there and uh, so for some reason, Ginger and Hannah leave me alone with the baby. And I'm, <laughs> so I'm holding this little baby and I start to cry. You know, tears start coming down my, my eyes. And, and I'm like, life is so precious. And this little boy is gonna live for a hundred years. And what happens in his life is going to be determined. I mean, if it's a successful life is, is determined by, by his focus on grabbing a hold of his life and making it what it wants and him controlling his ongoing mindset. And so as I'm, I was thinking about that, and, and I guess the lesson, the reason I say that, tell that story is that everybody listening your life is precious. I mean, it's, it's totally precious. And if you feel the scarcity of time, uh, you know, I, think, I think that's the power of, of this. You, you know, just imagine the ability to play the game of life at a higher level. And, and yeah. the, the first step is take us up on this offer to teach you how to yeah, no, 100%. So I, I would absolutely, as I said, all the links will be below this video. Um, this is great stuff. And I would encourage you to go check it out. My goodness, like watch the video. Uh, you know, you owe it to yourself. And I think that's the last thing John would say before we finish is, I mean, in, in, in other ways, you owe it to yourself and you owe it to everybody around you to, to live the best life you can. You know, you only get one shot. So why not? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, listen, John, this has been fantastic. Uh, my name is John Golden, uh, Sales Pop Online Sales Magazine, Pipeliner CRM. Thanks again, John, from thinkitbeit.com. Please go check it out. As I said, all the links will be down here. Go check out the video. And uh, yeah, go on, go make those seven figures that you've always wanted. Uh, so again, thanks, John, for joining me. Thank you for watching and listening. And I will see you all again real soon for another interview. Thank you.